Would you want to learn something faster and that too with the easy way? Well, I have a perfect video for you. Because in this video, I'm going to share some amazing chat GPT prompts that can help you learn faster. Yes. Well, I know a lot of universities and colleges and schools, they are actually trying to ban chat GPT and they think the students will cheat using chat GPT. But I think it's a different way. Well, it's not just like banning a technology will help, but actually it's empowering people how to use it in the right way. That will help and will go a long way. So that's why today I've got some amazing prompts that you can use on ChatGPT to expedite your learning. You can learn anything faster. You can understand concepts way better. And this is something very, very powerful for every single one of you. Let's hit it up. So the first prompt that you can use is to understand concepts. Yes. Now, any concept that you have that you want to understand, you can actually use this prompt and that you can understand the complex prompt in much easier way. And you can use this prompt. Explain the concept of followed by your topic. So here I'm just saying gravity in simple terms. Simple. Explain the concept of dash in simple terms. And there you go. See, amazing. Sure, I'll be happy to explain this. Gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls things together. Imagine you're playing with two magnets. So it's an amazing way that ChatGPT can give you understanding. So you can use this to understand the complex concept into much easy to understand and simpler way. All right, let's move to the prompt number two. Number two is summarizing text. Now, many a times you have a lot of data and information. So you can use this prompt to summarize a huge chunk of data into bite-sized takeaways. Now, how do you use this? You can just simply say, summarize this article, paste the link, and then say it in three to five sentences. So I have downloaded a web access Google Chrome extension for ChatGPT so that it can actually review the link and can read the link in the real time, okay? Now, generally ChatGPT has nothing of like sort of as of now, but generally you can use this. So here it is, see? This is how it has summarized everything, right? So it can summarize. Or if you don't have that Chrome extension, absolutely fine. What you can do, you can actually copy paste the whole article. So let's say if you have a particular chapter and you can use, you can copy paste that chapter in chat GPT and say summarize in three to five sentences and it will give you an amazing summary in no time. So use this. All right, let's go to the next one. Number three is comparing concepts. Now many times you need to compare, contrast different topics. So you can use this particular prompt that I have for you. And it says, compare and contrast anything that you want to compare and contrast. So let's say, I just want to say capitalism and socialism. And see, it will give you all the things about these two topics. It's comparing it. It's giving you all the key features and everything in just a few seconds. This is an amazing prompt. Okay, let's move to the next one. And that is historical context. Now, many a times you need to understand the historical events behind it. So you can easily use this prompt which says, provide a brief history of, let's say Hitler. And boom, it will give you all the details about specific details on that particular topic, right? So you can see it's such an amazing way of doing it. Early life and rise to powers is giving you all the things and it's talking about beer hall, imprisonment, Nazis party and all that. So anything that you need the historical event, you can use this prompt. Okay, let's go to the next one. And the next one, number five, real life applications. Oh, I love this. Think about it. Any topic, anything that you're learning, can you get the real life application of that particular topic? It's so amazing. And I remember my time when I was in high school. So I asked my teacher when I was in 11th grade, it's like, why am I learning calculus again? And you know what my teacher told me? She said, because it's in your slaves. <laughs> yes, that's the best answer I got. But you can use this to find out the real life applications of anything that you want. So, okay, let me just show you this prompt itself. Now it says, what are the real life applications of artificial intelligence? Oh, let's see, it's an interesting one. And now this will give you the real life applications. See, there you go. Real life applications across various industries. So it's talking about healthcare, it's talking about finance and banking transportation and automotive, retail and e-commerce and everything out there. Well, out of curiosity, I asked this question when I was in 11th grade. Let me see if ChatGPT can give me this answer. What is the real life 
application of calculus. Wow, let's see this. Hmm, there's a numerous real life applications across various fields, okay? Physics and engineering. Calculus plays important role in modeling and understanding physical phenomena, okay? Economics and finance. Hmm. Medicine and biology. Looks like we have a lot of application of calculus, right? But this is just out of curiosity. So you can use this prompt anytime that you want to find out the real life applications. And this is something really beneficial for me as well. So when you study, and this is really beneficial for a lot of students actually. When you study something, but you don't know what's the real life application is, sometimes you are not very happy doing it. But using this, you can actually understand what is the real life application and then you might feel better in studying that. Okay, let's move to the next one. And next one is visualizing concepts. Oh, I love this one. Now, anytime you have a complex concept to understand and you're not able to understand it, you can use this prompt and ChatGPT will help you visualize it. Yes, a mental model with some pictures and some analogy like that. Do you want to see this? It's amazing. Okay, let me just show you this. So they say, describe a visualization or let's say analogy to explain hmm, what a cycle. Let's do this. So I'm just asking ChatGPT to visualize it for us. Okay, there you go. Explain the water cycle is comparing to a large scale recycling system, never ending journey of water. Here's a description of the analogy. There you go. Imagine a vast recycling system that continuously takes water on an incredible journey, transforming it from one state to another. This system is powered by sun, which provides this, this, this. The journey begins with the water bodies and this. So it's actually helping you visualize that concept. So you can use this amazingly powerful prompt to visualize any concept that you want. All right, good. Let's go to the next one. And that is number seven, problem solving. Yes, you can solve any complex problem within few seconds. Okay, I'm gonna show you how. So for example, I can say, how can I solve this problem? And I'm gonna just give it an equation, 2x plus five equal to 15. Let's see, can ChatGPT help us? Oh yes, see, there you go. So it has given you everything about this particular problem. So you can use this prompt which says that how can I solve this problem followed by the problem and it will give you answer in real time. Okay, now all these prompts that I'm giving you is not because to help you cheat, but I'm giving you to empower you so that you can enhance your learning. Sometimes you are stuck and you're not able to understand how to solve a problem, how to get out of this thing. I'm gonna give you this tool so that it will help you, but make sure to learn and understand, super important. It's not like you just give it to it, complete your homework and that's done. My always, always, always advice, whatever you do, whatever you learn, make sure you actually do it by heart. So even if you're doing this, make sure that you go through the steps here and learn it so that you can become better at it, all right? Don't try to cheat with these tools. Try to empower so that you can learn stuff and there is somebody to help you 24 seven. That's the idea, okay. Cool. So this was the seventh prompt about problem solving. Let's go to the next one. And amazing. Number eight is exam preparation. Yes. Now, what do you do when you are preparing for the exam? And let's say you have a biology exam, but you don't know really what to study. So you can use this prompt on chat GPT that can help you. Okay, let's see this. So you can say, what are the key points I should focus, I should focus on for my exam in biology? Right, let's see, there you go. So it is giving you all the things about the different things that you need. Now, sometimes you need to understand how do you prepare? So it can give you the whole preparation plan with just with this prompt. So it is very effective with exam preparation. So now let's go to the next one and that's number nine. Yeah, number nine, memorization techniques. Now, if you need personalized tips for better understanding and memorization, here is an amazing prompt for you. Okay, let me show it to you. So this is, what are some effective memorization techniques for learning vocabulary? Okay, let's do this. And there you go. Within some time, it has given you all the details. When it comes to memorizing vocabulary, different techniques work for different individuals. So it says repetition and review, mnemonics, yes. Contextual learning, word association. So it's giving you a great way of memorizing vocabulary, okay? So you can use it anytime you need. And you can use it for any concept. You can say memorization techniques for motions, for example, memorization techniques for some other concept. So you can use it in variety of different ways. Okay, now let's go to the next one. 
Now this is what I call as vocabulary building. Yes, a lot of students, a lot of people around, they talk about like, oh, how can we build our vocabulary? How can we get better with our English communication and vocabulary? Here is an excellent prompt for you in ChatGPT, which is provide synonyms and antonyms of the word happy. Yeah, let's do this. So synonyms and antonyms, so you can actually learn vocabulary. So it can give you a lot of different synonyms and antonyms here, right? Similarly, you can actually do a lot of word learning through this. Pretty simple. Okay, let's go to the next one. And that is number 11, essay writing. Oh yes, this is amazing. You're gonna love this. So anytime you have to write any essay, you can actually use chat GPT to actually figure out an outline for that essay. How? I'm gonna give you this prompt. Now the prompt is outline an essay on the causes of global warming. So the prompt is outline an essay on the causes of dash or outline an essay for dash. That is your topic. So I'm just saying outline an essay on the causes of global warming. And let's just see this. Now this within few seconds, this will give you the whole outline of an essay that you can write. So can you see this? It's giving you introduction and within your introduction, what all you need to em emphasize the definition and significance of global warming. Number two, human activities, uh, natural, uh, natural factors. There are a lot of stuff. It's given you an amazing outline for the essay. Wow, this is amazing. So I generally say don't write your essay using chat GPT. Yeah, because a lot of these universities, colleges and people out there, they have an AI detector. And even if you're someone who wants to write something based on a blog or something, Google has a way of detecting with AI. So I would say get the outline and do your work and write your essay on your own for sure. But this is a way you can actually begin and write down the outline of a particular essay. Cool, amazing. Let's go to the next one and that is improving understanding. So any topic that you're struggling with, you're not sure how to learn it, you can absolutely use this prompt. And this prompt is, okay, let's just have a little conversation. I'm having trouble understanding quantum physics. Can you help clarify? Okay, there you go. So you can just write what concept you're having trouble with. And here you go. Quantum physics, also known as quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that describes da 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 da. Right? And here are the some key concepts, giving you some key concepts, and then you can understand everything on this. This is an amazing, amazing tool. I'm telling you guys, for all your learning, if you are a student, for your studies, the learning, even if you're an individual want to learn something, it's a crazy, crazy tool. See, within few seconds, you have that clarity. So anytime when you're not able to understand a concept, you can use this prompt that I'm traveling this, this, this particular thing. Can you help me clarify? I'll give you a whole detail about this one. Cool. Awesome. All right. And I have the last one for you, which is basically for group discussion. Yes. So sometimes uh, if you want to have group discussion or if you want to have some random question, you want to create a quiz, you can use chat GPT for sure. Now, what can you do is like, what are some engaging questions or topics for a group discussion on climate change? Yeah, we're talking a lot about climate change today, <laughs> just for the example. So here you go, you just written down and it's like group discussion. There you go. It's giving you all the things. You can create different quizzes. So let's say if you are a teacher watching this video or you're a parent and you want learning and then you can create a whole quiz from chat GPT and you give it to your students about a particular concept. You can add the whole concept there. You can with the web access thing right up here with the web access, you can have a Chrome extension. You can actually point it to the curriculum that you have and then you can create the whole quiz for yourself. Yes. If you use this amazing tool, this can really transform your life. Can, you can learn way faster and so much easier. Yep. All right. So these were the prompts that I had for you today. And I'm probably going to give you a PDF download also so you can download these prompts for ease and then you can actually use this prompt to supercharge your learning and do some amazing work. So I hope you liked this video and it took a lot of time for me to build this video for you. Yeah, to create this video for you to do the research, to find out those prompts that can help you, talking to multiple people about what they're really looking for for learning. And based on that, I have then, I spend hours on chat GPT to figure out these prompts for you. So please make sure to like this video, subscribe and share it 
to people around because I'm sure a lot of people are looking for this knowledge. And I will see you very soon. If you have any other video that you want me to make, put it down in the comments below and I will create that video for you. I will see you very soon. This is Shirish signing off. Take care. I love you. Bye-bye.